Hey guys, this is Dr. Phil here at Total Performance Physical Therapy. And today we're gonna change it up a little bit, uh, work on some running mechanics. I'm gonna show you how you can use the wall drill to improve your sprinting mechanics. Now, you don't necessarily have to be an athlete or a weekend warrior or whatever to do sprinting. Maybe when you're doing your recreational runs, you wanna increase the speed at which you're running. It's good to know how to change your mechanics up so you can go from a jog to a sprint and what your body should be doing. Uh, maybe you're not running at all. These drills can just be a great quick workout you can do against the wall in your home, in your basement, whatever space you have available. So with all that, let's get down to it. Um, it's important to understand what your body's doing when you're sprinting. If you think you're upright, you don't start off that way. You start off with a forward lean. So we want to practice what our legs and body should be doing when we are leaning forward. Now, why are we leaning forward? We're leaning forward because we want our center of gravity to be out in front of us so that we can be faster when we're sprinting. So to practice that, we're gonna lean against the wall at about a 45 degree angle. This is where you wanna be approximately when you're running. You wanna be on the balls of your feet, and if you're not sure where that is, it's right here. Not your toes, not your heels, right here. Right here, just like this. You also want to make sure that your core is tight and not bending back like this and not sagging into the wall like that. You want to engage that core, keep it nice and tight so that your body has a straight line. And what we're going to do is focus on punching our knee forward and driving it straight back. That's important because you want to make sure that you're firing those hip flexors to bring the knee forward and cover ground so that you're bringing that knee forward, you're covering as much ground in front of you as you can versus just a lazy punch where you're just coming halfway forward. You wanna get that full knee forward and you wanna make sure that you're getting an explosive drive back because obviously that's what's propelling you forward, that drive coming back. So you're gonna get into that position, looking straight ahead and just think to yourself, think of punching the knee forward, and when you think of that, just think to yourself, punch, so it'll be punch, and drop, drop, punch, drop, punch, drop, punch, drop. So that's just a single count march right there, using my right leg, you can do this on your left leg as well. Some things, some little nuances of this, it should be fast, explosive movement. You don't want it to be just punch, drive. You want it to be fast and explosive. Punch, that thigh should be parallel to the ground. Your toes should be pointing up. I don't want those toes pointed down. I want them pointed up. Drive, and when you drive back, that foot that's driving back should be slightly behind, the toes should be slightly behind the toes of the opposite foot. So again, we'll just do a couple, single count march. Punch. Drop, punch, drop, punch, drop. And that's what you would do. I would say a set of 10. Obviously we'll do the other side to save time. We won't have to watch me do the other side. Next, we can do a double alternating march. So that's when both legs are gonna punch and drive. So you're gonna set up the same way. Getting my good lean, I'm on the balls of my feet. Here we go. The first punch, you're setting it up. So it's gonna be punch, second punch. Punch, 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 and relax. One of the things to be aware of, if you're doing this for the first time, what may happen is you may slide and become more upright into the wall. Try to maintain that angle. So what I'm talking about is you may punch, 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 and see how it became more upright? You wanna maintain that angle. So again, right here, looking straight ahead. First punch sets you up. Punch, second punch. Punch, maintain that lean. Punch, still got it. Punch, 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 just like that. The other thing to try to be aware of, it may be hard unless you have a mirror set up or a partner making sure the other knee is punching up as far forward as the first knee. So you don't want to have a weak punch 
on your left leg if the right leg is one that's punching first. So try to keep that in mind as well. The third progression we can do will be a three count alternating march. So your legs will actually switch. So what I mean by that is if your right leg starts forward, on the second punch your left leg will start forward. And it will just keep alternating like that. So it's going to be three punch and drives. We, were doing, we did one to start, two is the one I just showed you, now we're doing three. Here we go, I'm going to start with my right leg again. So when you start doing these alternating marches, the first punch sets you up for the rest of the drill. Looking straight ahead, here we go. Punch, 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 and relax. So you can see how the knee, the opposite knee would be forward with those alternating marches. I really love this wall drill. It can be done anywhere. It can help you improve your athleticism no matter what sport you're playing because most sports, there's a sprint involved. Good core activation. It's good cardio. You can see I'm kind of losing my breath a little bit. So this can just be a great workout for you to do if you're not in sports or if you do want to start working on your running mechanics. But especially if you are in sports, Nobody's out there playing. Nobody's out there getting coached. Hopefully this video can help you guys that don't have the ability to get coached up right now. I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to type them in in the face box, Facebook box below. I'll get back to you, I promise. I'm Dr. Phil. I also used to be a strength coach, so I know what I'm talking about, right guys? Uh, stay healthy, stay safe out there. I'll talk to you next time.